Good morning, Moonies. Um, how are you doing? It's about, uh, it's, Mar it's March 2021, and we've been uh, a year anniversary of this COVID-19 pandemic. And um, fittingly, I have for you today a review on some Sailor Moon surgical masks. And actually, not only do we have the five inner guardians, but we also have some kitties. Exciting. Um, so these are out of Hong Kong. I had to use um, an Asian proxy service to get these. And um, yeah, let's, I, let's get into it. Um, let's see. Well, let's, let's go with the first ones. This is the inner guardians. Um, it comes with this this top here and then you, you can pop out the this thing so for easy access I guess but I don't know I can still you know I, I would have just been okay with like this top here um, and there now there's two versions that come in each box uh, there is a white version which is from in this box and let me get a close up here says a uh, pretty guardian sailor moon we have uh the cosmic brooch on here uh and moon and stars on it and here i'll go ahead and put this on and actually i kind of feel like i mean they're quite big which is good i feel but i feel like they kind of sit a little awkwardly on my face um, they do have a little wire up here, which you know, I know a lot of people like. I like that too. Um, but yeah, this is quite big, and I, I know, I feel like it should be really snug, right? But I feel like, you know, they've got some, they've got some room in here, definitely. Um, and I also will, I'll get to that in a moment. I'm not sure if I'm, I, these are particularly my, my fa most favorite face masks ever because they feel like a little stiff. They feel much more paper-like rather than cloth-like. Um, but I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. So anyway, this is the white version from the Five Guardians box. And then in the Five Guardians box, there's a second version, uh, which is the same design but slightly pink. I don't even know if you can see that on there. Um, which is nice because I feel like with white face masks, I feel like they look like diapers on your face. So like, I have no white cloth uh, face masks. And uh, I mean, maybe the, the, the surgical, the paper masks aren't as bad, but still I just feel like white just doesn't do it. So anyway, so it, it does have a pink. I feel like this is a bit of a lighter pink than the, the Japanese uh, surgical mask that came out years ago. Um, and I think uh, what I feel like I like the Japanese versions better than these. Um, just overall, like they feel much more cloth like, um, uh, better, darker pink design, dark pink or purple design, and um, whatnot. The only problem with that though is that. They haven't re-released them yet, um, and those uh, face masks, there was just like three to a small package. So obviously here, these are boxes. So I guess you kind of probably sacrifice a little bit of quality, right, um, over, you're, you're going for the quantity here, not the quality. So yeah, so that's the the two masks in the, the Five Guardian box, let's see. Um, and it says it's disposable three ply ear loop mask. Everything is in English on here, which is a great thing because you know it's Hong Kong. God bless Hong Kong. Um, and there's 30 pieces in a box. Let's see. There's like a lot, a lot of like little like BFE, PFE, VFE, ST, M level three. I don't know any of what that stuff means. Maybe you can tell me in the comments below. Um, let's see, there's a lot more information on the back here and I'm, oh, here, let's see if we, we can read this together. Um, I can't really read that together, but uh, 
You can see the stickers, the Toei stickers. Let's see if I can. Um, it says splash resistant, easy breathing, soft, comfortable ear loops, suitable for sensitive skin, high filterability, filters dust, pollen, bacteria, model V99 face mask, distributor, water concept international, made in Hong Kong. Um, it says fluid resistant outer layer of non-woven material, inner qualified filter, skin friendly non-woven material. So that's pretty cool. I think it's kind of interesting. I'm allergic to pollen. So I wonder, you know, going forward if wearing face masks, uh, maybe kind of right now, actually, uh, I have very bad early spring uh, tree pollen allergies. So maybe that's something like I should be wearing going forward. I know a lot of people are reevaluating, like, hey, maybe I should make wear a face mask more often, actually. So, uh, so that, 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 I'm trying to think where we're going next. Oh, I guess we're going with the kitties next. The kitties! So excited by all of these, uh, all the kitty merch. Um, and the, it's the same exact um, setup box, just different design. I did not pop out the middle uh, doohickey here because it was kind of hard to pop out actually. But I don't know. Ta-da! I think one of the, the most exciting things about this this thing is uh, they're individually wrapped. So I'm, I'm gonna give some of these as gifts. That's what I'm gonna go do. Um, so I guess here you can see to get, see like, yeah, with. The lighting, I'm sorry, you can't even really see too much of a difference here. But here's the white ver oh, here's the white version. Ta-da! Just got some Luna and Artemis going on there. Then here's the purple, darker purple version. And again, it's not that dark, so I'm not really convinced there. You know. So guess what can you do? So uh that is that. Um as far as prices go, I got this from the proxy. I'll list it below. Uh, it was about $20 per box, and then shipping was about $15, uh, which is pretty, I feel is pretty normal from Hong Kong. But um, I do think, you know, uh, with Japanese items, it's a little bit easier to understand how much uh, you're paying for on top of the retail price. Um, whereas with many, I find with many, uh, other Asian proxy services, they don't necessarily uh, give you that information. They're not very transparent. However, I would say I think it's really up to you to determine if it's worth it or not to you. Uh, so these, I'm sure these face masks were probably around probably $10 per box. So I'm sure it was a pretty big markup. But, um, you know, again, you are a Sailor Moon collector. It, things can get pricey and you know you always have the option of not not buying this <laughs> so if that's not right for you don't buy it which if that's not right for you actually I have another suggestion for you which might suit you better so um I don't know I've been doing a lot with cloth masks uh recently and uh, there are some Sailor Moon cloth masks from Hot Topic there are uh Sailor Moon cloth masks from uh, the Sailor Moon store, all official. So we do have those available. But I guess recently I was uh, kind of getting into the surgical masks. And so so I went on to Amazon and I was like, okay, I'm just going to buy some just to have some, you know, have some different options. And I found this really cool, I don't know, pink starry mask. Again, sorry, this lighting really sucks today. Um, this is just off of Amazon US and um, I really like these and I mean obviously they're not Sailor Moon at all but they have such a Sailor Moon uh, vibe to them like look at that so you, I don't know if you can really see but you can see stars blue you know it's blue pink purple looks like a Sailor Moon black background to me and I really, I, I thought this was just so, so much more fun to wear than the, the plain blue ones. I mean, I guess you wear bl black ones, but I felt black ones were a little harsh. 
Um, and I feel like these, this one actually fits my face much better. Like I was saying before, uh, this mask feels a little, a little bit more cloth-like to me rather than strictly very, very paper-like. Uh, and I feel like even though it kind of wigs out right here, I feel like it's still conforming to my face and I feel really um, secure in this. And it's a slightly, I mean, the paper ones, uh, even though there's some room in here, it's, it's, it's not as, I guess, big, really. It feels much more snug. It also has a paper, uh, a wire. And um, I'll put my, the affiliate link down below uh, for you to, to check this out. It was about $12 for a 50 piece pack. So obviously much cheaper than these other Sailor Moon masks. Um, and yeah. So I think that is it. If you have any questions, comments, put them in the uh, comments below and I'll talk to you later. Bye.